Tonight we're talking about how to diagnose a root canal infection. Manuel does not actually have any more root canals, but he's going to sort of play along to demonstrate um, how to test and how we figure out if a root canal is, first of all, infected, um, but second, really what it is about is, is the root canal causing his symptoms? If he had some symptoms, is the root canal causing those symptoms? Some people do have infected root canals and live for many, many years with them, and they are just fine. So the real question is, if he gets a root canal pulled, will that help him feel better? So that's what this video is going to demonstrate. Um, so I'm going to muscle test him, so I'm going to have him hold his fingers together, and I'm going to say one, two, three, hold, and I'm going to not rip them apart, but slowly pull them apart so I can kind of feel how strongly he's holding them together. And he's not always holding them together, he's just holding them together when I say one, two, three, hold, that's when I slowly pull, and he's really trying to hold those fingers together as best he can. So that's called his baseline. So let's do it one more time. One, two, three, hold. That's his baseline. Now, just a sanity check, I'm going to have him hold his temple over here and make sure that that tests stronger than his baseline. This is kind of the sanity test. Am I alive? Am I able to test? So one, two, three, hold. Yes, indeed, I can't even get the fingers apart. He's stronger on his temple. If you're not stronger in your temple, um, then that means you either need more practice muscle testing, muscle testing is all about practice, uh, maybe you need a glass of water to dehydrate, maybe you need some sleep, uh, whatever it is, but you can't really go forward with your testing unless you can get the temple um, to test really strong. And if his baseline um, test, I was able to get the fingers pulled apart, but not super easy and not super hard. So he was using his thumb and his pinky um, if that's really too weak for some people, you may want to go to the ring finger, to the middle finger, or even to the index finger to get kind of a middle of the line, not too easy, not too hard. So what I'm going to do is have him now try to diagnose the root canal. Again, he doesn't have a root canal, but we're going to play along and pretend he does. So I'm going to have him again hold his fingers together, and first I'm going to have him put his fingers on the outside of where the tooth, where the root canal is. So he's going to pick a spot, which is where he used to have his root canal, but he doesn't anymore. So he picked that spot. So I'm going to have him test right outside of that. So I'm going to say one, two, three, hold. And he's about like his baseline, maybe a little bit stronger than his baseline. So if that area is testing stronger than the baseline or at the baseline level, that means to me, or that indicates that that's not bothering him, at least not that test. So if he were testing much weaker um, when he's holding his around his root canal, if he were testing much weaker, that would kind of indicate to me that, oh my, maybe that is infected and that maybe is causing his symptoms. So because that tested baseline or strong, I'm going to look a little further. So I'm going to have him actually now put his finger in his mouth on the root canal. Hopefully he washed his hands. Um, so he's not putting it on the tooth, he's putting it up above the tooth, which is where the root of the tooth is, which is most likely where the infection is. So I'm going to say one, two, three, hold. He's actually testing really strong on that area, so that again indicates to me that he's not infected. So now I'm going to look even further and have him put his finger in his mouth on the back side of that root canal tooth. So now he's going to go in to the um, roof of his mouth on the back side of that tooth up behind that root. Again, we're looking for infections that's probably around the root. One, two, three, hold. Wow, super strong on that area as well. Again, indicating he's not infected. Now again, we knew he didn't have any root canals um, or infections, um, but it, he's just demonstrating. So now let's pretend that he did find a weak point. So let's pretend that when he put his finger inside on the front that it was weaker than his baseline. So that would indicate to me, okay, maybe there's an infection there that's causing his symptoms. So let's pretend that happened. Then what I would do, if I wanted to verify it, is I've got some antibiotics here. I've got a couple of different ones. Um, pick an antibiotic if you have a couple pills left over 
from something or you can order them on the internet or however you want to get them. Um, so now what I, would be, what I would do to kind of verify will these antibiotics uh, sort of applied to the tooth um, make him test strong instead of weak. So how I would do that is have him again put his finger inside his mouth um, on the front. Let's pretend the front was testing weak. And I'm going to have him at the same time hold these antibiotics and now I'm going to muscle test him. One, two, three, hold. <laughs> That's funny. So he's kind of back to his baseline whereas before he was strong, indicating he doesn't really want the antibiotics in this case. But if the, it were an infection, um, I would expect the antibiotics to make him test stronger than he does when he's holding the area without the antibiotics. Again, just kind of a sanity check to say, okay, is it really an infection? Will antibiotics make that area test strong? It could, there are other possibilities. It could be some kind of weird structural or osteopathic issue going on that's making it test weak. So there are other reasons why it could test weak besides just being an infection. Another way, if you don't have antibiotics um, to test, you could test with ozone. I've got my handy dandy um, fruit and vegetable washer. You can pick this up on Amazon pretty cheap. You can just turn it on, get some ozone going in the tube, and then turn it off, which in our case is unplugging it. And now you've got some ozone here in this tube, and I'm going to have him hold his finger in the front, pretend that was testing weak. I'm going to have him hold the tube of ozone. One, two, three, hold. And he's testing about like baseline, but theoretically if that were testing week before with the ozone, holding the ozone, I would expect that area to test stronger if it is an infection. So this is how we diagnose if the root canal infection is causing health symptoms or causing the problem um, that we're trying to solve. Personally, I believe all root canals are infected. Um, it's just a question of whether that infection is bothering your body or whether your body's able to deal with it and it's not really bothering you.